My sister discovered me in femme and supported my cross-dressing. Synopsis. In Bonded by Secrets, Amy and Alicia's weekend of discovery, Adam and his sister, Amy, plan to spend a weekend together. Little does Amy know, Adam has a secret alter ego named Alicia. When Amy unexpectedly arrives at Adam's apartment a day early, she discovers Alicia's existence and is intrigued. Over the course of their weekend, Amy challenges Alicia to step out of their comfort zone, leading to transformative experiences and a deepening bond between siblings as they embrace their true selves. Story My sister, Amy, wanted to come see my new apartment and spend some quality time with her favorite brother. We had made plans for her to come on Saturday, allowing us to spend the entire weekend together. However, there was one thing Amy didn't know about me, once a month, I liked to spend a day as my alter ego, Alicia. I usually did this on Saturdays, but since Amy was coming, I decided to go out as Alicia on Friday instead. After finishing work, I hurried back home and began the transformation process from Adam to Alicia. It took a couple of hours, but soon I was ready to hit the town. I visited a few of my usual spots and eventually made my way to my favorite restaurant for dinner. I returned home relatively early, around 9.30, feeling satisfied with my night out. As I opened the door and placed my keys on the front counter, I was surprised to see my sister sitting on my couch. Adam, is that you? Amy asked, looking puzzled. I couldn't help but smile and finally replied, yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? I thought we were meeting tomorrow. That was the original plan, but I finished my work early and decided to drive up tonight, Amy explained. I was a little taken aback and asked, how did you get in here? I borrowed the key you gave mom and dad when they were helping you move in, she replied casually. Amy complimented my apartment, noting how nice it looked. I thanked her and engaged in small talk, trying to ease the tension I felt about her unexpected visit. Eventually, I decided to address the elephant in the room. Okay, I'm going to address something. I really like your dress, and you look very natural. When did you start dressing up? I don't remember you doing anything like this when we were at home, I cautiously asked. Amy paused for a moment, seemingly gathering her thoughts. Well, I've been dressing up for a little while now. I met a girl at work, and we hit it off. For our Halloween party, she convinced me to dress up as a nurse. It went over really well, and I've kept doing it. Once a month, I spend the day as Alicia. It has become a stress release for me, and I've been enjoying it. I listened attentively, surprised yet relieved that Amy was open about her newfound interest. We continued to talk for a little while longer, catching up on each other's lives. Eventually, it was time to call it a night. However, before we headed to bed, Amy asked if she could spend more time with Alicia the next day. I looked at her, considering her request, and replied with a smile, I think that can be arranged. A mischievous thought crossed my mind, and I added, also, I'd love to see what other cute outfits Alicia has. Maybe I could even borrow one when we go out tomorrow. Amy laughed and agreed. It seemed that despite the initial surprise, our bond as siblings was as strong as ever, and we were both eager to embrace each other's unique interests and experiences. The next day, Amy and I embarked on a fun-filled day of sisterly bonding, with Alicia making appearances throughout our adventures. Amy was thrilled to have the opportunity to spend time with Alicia and embraced the idea of challenging me to step out of my comfort zone by doing girly things in public. Our first stop was a trendy boutique downtown. As we browsed through racks of colorful dresses, Amy handed me a vibrant floral sundress and dared me to try it on. With a mix of excitement and apprehension, I stepped into the fitting room and emerged transformed, feeling both self-conscious and exhilarated. Amy's eyes lit up, and she exclaimed, You look amazing, Alicia. Now let's show off that confidence. Nervously, I walked out onto the shop floor, wearing the dress that was a departure from my usual attire. As Amy cheered me on, I strutted my stuff, trying to embody the spirit of Alicia. It was liberating to shed my inhibitions and embrace a different side of myself. The supportive smiles from other shoppers and the encouragement from Amy bolstered my confidence. Emboldened by the positive response, Amy challenged me to try something even more daring. 
We headed to a nearby nail salon, where she convinced me to get a manicure and pedicure. As the nail technician meticulously painted my nails with a bold, glittery polish, I couldn't help but feel a mixture of excitement and self-consciousness. But with Amy by my side, cheering me on, I let go of my reservations and embraced the pampering experience. Leaving the salon, my nails sparkling, we continued our adventure. Amy guided me to a bustling park where a group of people were practicing yoga. She whispered mischievously, I dare you to join them, Alicia. Show off your flexibility and inner peace. Taking a deep breath, I walked over to the yoga group, my heart pounding with anticipation. With every stretch and pose, I felt a newfound sense of liberation, both physically and mentally. The yoga enthusiasts welcomed me with open arms, applauding my efforts. I couldn't help but smile, realizing that stepping out of my comfort zone had opened doors to new experiences and connections. Throughout the day, Amy continued to challenge me with similar dares, pushing me to embrace my femininity and have fun in unexpected ways. We visited a photo booth and struck glamorous poses, giggling like teenagers. We twirled around in a crowded square, dancing to lively music, letting go of any self-consciousness. As the sun began to set, we sat by the waterfront, watching the golden hues reflect on the calm waters. Amy turned to me and said, Thank you, Alicia. Today has been so much fun, and I appreciate you stepping out of your comfort zone for me. It means a lot. I smiled warmly at her, realizing that our shared experiences had brought us even closer as siblings. Alicia had become an integral part of our relationship, allowing us to explore new dimensions of understanding and acceptance. I realized that my alter ego was not just an escape but also a bridge, connecting me to my sister in a unique way. As the weekend came to an end, I thanked Amy for accepting and embracing Alicia. We shared a heartfelt hug, promising to continue supporting each other's individual journeys. Alicia had become more than just a stress release for me, she had become a source of growth and connection in my relationship with Amy. And so, with the memories of our weekend adventures, we bid farewell to my apartment. As I closed the door behind us, I knew that the bond between Amy and Alicia would continue to flourish, providing us with countless opportunities for shared laughter, understanding, and sisterly love. The End